Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? It is Monday again. <clears throat> Yay. And you know what I just realized is I don't have my drink with me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I left my drink in the other room. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys have your cup of coffee or tea with you to join me. To join me with mine that I don't have. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Alicia. I've missed you, girlfriend. Good morning, Tanya. So yes, I don't have my cup of coffee or tea with me. It's in the other room, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll grab it afterwards. But I hope you guys have something nice and warm to drink. It is a chilly morning up here in Connecticut. Um, it's kind of gloomy too, although we had a beautiful weekend. Oh my gosh, the weather was amazing this weekend. I hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving. I certainly did. I will say that it was so different this year than it's been, you know, in the past years. Um, I did not have my brother-in-law with us. Our brother-in-law, my brother-in-law, my husband's brother was not with us um, because he did pass this year. And my daughter, because of all the restrictions due to COVID, she could not leave the state to come and visit us. So I won't be seeing her at all this year. And I'm so sad. It just hurts my heart that I won't be able to spend any time with her during the holidays. Um, I haven't seen her since last December. So, and usually we see each other like at least three times a year. So it's been, it's definitely been a rough year for all of us, hasn't it? Definitely. And you guys, you know, you have all been such a blessing to me, you know, because, um, gosh, I feel like I'm going to cry now. Oh, you can tell I'm PMSing. <laughs> um, because you know what? Us being here together in God's presence together has been such a blessing to me. And I know it's been a blessing to you as well to get through this tough year that we've all been through, that we're going through. And, um, you know, with everything that is going on with, loss of friends or family members, you know, whether it's COVID or not, you know, it's just been, it's been a rough year. And, um, and also just with all these restrictions and all these different things that we have to go through and changes and yes, change is good, but this kind of change is not good. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> So yes, it's been a rough year, but anyway, so, but Thanksgiving was still a blessing. We did invite a young gentleman that my husband's been mentoring, um, you know, in our town here, he has no one. And so we invited him to spend um, Thanksgiving with us. And my son was here. It was just the four of us, but it was very cozy and quaint. And we still feasted, feasted, feasted. We ate a lot. <laughs> so anyway, we have tons of leftovers, of course. And who doesn't love leftovers, right? I, I'm actually going to be making a soup from the turkey today. So that's going to last a couple of days. So anyway, so God had um, given me the word forgiveness this morning. And um, so the, you know, the devotion that he led me to is in regards to restoration. So that is what I'm going to be sharing with you guys this morning. So yes. So before that, let me start us off with a prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for a new day that we are here together once again in your presence, Lord, and in your word. Thank you so much, Lord, that we have an opportunity to be together, Father, and to encourage and inspire one another, Lord. Thank you for that. Father, thank you for restoration. Yes, your mercies are just so, so great, Lord, every morning. Thank you, Father. Embrace us with your graces and your mercy and your love and your forgiveness. And then when we stray off or when we go the wrong direction, Lord, lead us right back to you, Father. Lead us right back to you with that close and intimate relationship that we have with you, Father. And help us to surrender, to surrender and to trust in you, Lord. Father, I also ask for many blessings on everyone that is watching with me. And anyone that will be watching, Lord, blessings on their lives and their families. And for them to continue to keep their eyes, their hearts, and their ears focused on truth. And focused on you, Lord, and your wonderful mercies every day, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Yes, <clears throat> so I'm going to read a couple different scriptures for you. 
And the first one is from Psalm 35, which comes from the New Living Translation from this devotional Bible. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Mm. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes with the morning. Yes, it does. And that scripture reminded me of one of my favorites from Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 through 23. That the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Every morning, guys. Great is thy faithfulness. Yes, Lord. Yes, new mercies every morning. Oh, that is one of my favorite scriptures this year. <laughs> so God's love letter to you and to me. Oh, Alicia, that's so exciting, Alicia. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. That she is writing a book on forgiveness. That is amazing. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Yes. <clears throat> so God's love letter to you and to me, beloved daughter or son. I love you, and I want what's best for you. No matter what you do, I won't remain angry at you when you repent. I am slow to anger. I'm a patient and loving father. I don't want you to live your life far from me because you think I'm angry with you. Good morning, Miss April. I see your heart. I see that you want to do what is right. You will sometimes fail. I do. <laughs> but I'm here to catch you when you fall. Love your Heavenly Father. Mm. And this reminded me also of something in regards to repent. So many people think that when they repent, <clears throat> that it's a bad thing. Repenting of your sins. Repent just means changing your heart and your mind. That's all it is. You know, and asking God for, for forgiveness of our shortcomings. We're human. Yes. And we all know that he will continue to keep forgiving us. Because it reminded me also of, <clears throat> as I mentioned to you guys before, I was reading, I've been reading the book called Matchless by Angie Smith. It's amazing. And it's all about God, it's all about Jesus' journey. And we're on the last chapter. And it's, you know, and it reminded me again, you know, that, wow, how many times did his disciples fail him? Like there were times where I was just laughing. I'm like, oh my goodness, our human heart is ridiculous. How many times did the disciples fail Jesus? And he still showed him, showed them love and mercy and forgiveness, no matter what. Wow. So why wouldn't he do that for you or for me? Whew. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for that reminder. When we do something wrong and sin against God, we think that he's forever angry with us. But the scriptures prove that he is slow to anger and his grace is available the moment we ask for his forgiveness. He is for us and he loves us. God isn't as hard on us as we are on ourselves yes 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 and I know a lot of you are too <laughs> we are harder on ourselves than God is and that is something for us to remember and to remind ourselves of every single day Wow thank you Lord for that reminder thank you Jesus thank you for your faithfulness Lord Woo! I hope that was a blessing to you guys as it was to me <clears throat> Yes, 
God is slow to anger. Yes, he is. And that means everything to me too, Alicia. Trust me, it does. Guys, I hope that was a blessing to you. And go out there. Go out there and be a blessing to someone and show them love and mercy. Just as God shows us every single day. I love you guys. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. And I can't wait to see you again tomorrow morning, God willing. Bye.